In this demo, we're going to show how you can containerize your Node.js app using scaffolding to get you started with your Dockerfile and common scripts used to build and run your container images. We'll start with our basic Node.js app, which we scaffolded out using Express. We happen to be using Visual Studio Code, but you'll see the scaffolding will work with whatever editor you prefer. We'll start this up with Nodemon. And with that running, we can refresh our page. And we can see this is a Node.js simple Hello World app. But notice the OS is our Mac laptop. And you can see it's my local machine. If we go over here to VS Code, and we say some local change, and save that, we could come here and refresh that. And we see that Nodemon restarted the Node server to pick up our local change. So that's all great. We're ready to check this in, except we really want to make sure that this is going to work as expected in a container before we check it into the build system. So we want to containerize it and run it locally. But where do you start? What are the steps that you need? What's the Docker file need to look like? What's the command that I pass to the Docker CLI? So you can go out and search the internet and find everybody's opinion. Um, or you can actually start with some primer scripts, which we hope to be the best practices. So we'll come back here and to our terminal window. And I'm just going to say yo docker. This is Yolman scripts, um, which we have scaffolded out. And the setup for how to install this will be in the readme here. So now we get prompted with what language. So we'll choose node. Do I want to use Nodemon so I can get the same experience to monitor changes? Now, what's interesting here is it's not just running Nodemon, but our code is going to be on our laptop, but the app is going to be running on another machine, the Docker container, which is hosted on my machine using um, you know, VM hosts. So what we want to do, or, or virtual, the virtual box. So I want to be able to have my container volume mount into my editor on my local machine so I can make changes. So we'll combine those steps together. We'll use the default Nodemon port, and we will default the Docker image name to be the name of your folder plus underscore image. And then where do you want to run this? We will use your default uh, local container host to be able to run this. But of course, you can change this if you want to run this in Azure or some other uh, container host. So great, we've now got a Docker file and our bash scripts. Let's go take a look at what just got added. We'll see our Docker file has all the defaults for what I'd expect for Node. Uh, notice we're uh, putting um, Nodemon on there as well. And we've got uh, our startup. We've also got our bash scripts here that has all of the normal things that I might need to do, including clearing out containers, building images, and when we do our run, we need to actually uh, kill out any containers that are running on that same port. But let's go see how this works uh, in real life. So we'll say uh, Docker task, and we'll start that up. And it will build our Docker image with Nodemon. It'll pull the image down. It'll do everything we need for including all of those scripts we have in the Docker file. And then once that image is complete, it will make sure that that image is not currently running on the port that we had specified, and will then run uh, that image there. And notice, here we are. We are now running in a container. We can tell by the IP address. We can see the OS is Linux and our machine name. And of course, we have the change that we had over there, which we can now get rid of. So let's go over and go back to our index jade. And what we'll do is we'll change this to be running in a container. So we'll save that. And simply saving it, we now can pick that up because we've done the volume mounting, which we can look at our task here. Notice we said volume mount present working directory to this on the local machine into the source directory on the container. So that's been set up for us. So you've just seen how we can run Node locally and containerize it with Docker files and scripts that we scaffolded out with our YoDocker uh, Yeoman scripts.
Because we use scripts, we can customize these further, including container hosts uh, in Azure or using Docker Compose on Mesos or the Azure Container Service or other hosts as well. So I hope that was helpful. We look forward to your feedback, and we hope this has been uh, helpful for you to get started using Docker and continues to deliver value through the life of your project.